Hello and welcome back, you're with The Lone Wolf. Today I'd like to talk about Nikola Tesla, the renowned Serbian-American inventor, engineer and futurist, who fundamentally changed the way we live our lives. To many, Tesla is regarded as an exemplar and a legend, representing the absolute zenith of what a man can achieve when he possesses the right mindset, knowledge, skills and environment in which to thrive. His life serves to inspire, but also, as you'll see in this video, offers cautionary examples we can all learn from. Sadly for wider society, the impact and legacy of his genius is often forgotten, and certainly in my opinion he is not given the credit he deserves. In this video I will be presenting some biographic material on the great man, while also giving some insights from a lone wolf perspective. I'll be suggesting how one might be able to extrapolate emulate and learn from Tesla's example by focusing on the key points in his life and I hope you enjoy. Nikola Tesla was born to Serbian parents in 1856 in Smiljan in the Austrian Empire that is now part of Croatia. From an early age it was evident that Nikola possessed an inquisitive mind and uncanny visualization abilities. In 1870 Tesla first developed his interest in electricity thanks to a demonstration from his physics professor. A very gifted student, he finished his studies at the Higher Real Gymnasium a year early in 1873 and returned to his birthplace. He would soon contract cholera and be bedridden for nine months, nearly dying on several occasions. Tesla's father, an Orthodox priest, who had originally wished for him to enter the priesthood, promised to send him to the best engineering school if he pulled through. A fire was lit underneath him and it is evident that the confrontation with his own mortality spurred him on building his mental character and strength of resolve. We are very fortunate in the modern era in that, for the most part, especially in the West, very few of us have to face our own death at such an early age, thanks to the tremendous advances in medicine, biochemistry and genetics. An awareness of mortality can be a primary driving force towards pursuing a legacy and sense of purpose, towards achieving one's life goals. The bold realisation that you might die tomorrow is a powerful mindset to possess in that the tolerance for the petty and mundane garbage and BS in life reduces dramatically. You're just more inclined to get things done, as Tesla's example shows. In 1874, Tesla narrowly escaped conscription into the Austro-Hungarian army. While running away to the countryside, seeking solitude in the mountains, he used the opportunity to read Mark Twain. He later stated that his contact with nature strengthened him physically and mentally, which is very important when considering his period of prior illness. This episode of reflection and personal development was no doubt invaluable in making Tesla the man he eventually became. It also appears he was cognizant of the fact, avoiding becoming a tool of the military, an organisation that so often destroys the character of recruits and extinguishes any individuality. Tesla instead forged himself and retained his self-determination, and there is much we can learn from this. Although Tesla would later fall victim to exploitation, I think that this crucial period of introspection and development is very important. It demonstrates the value of reading, developing your mind and body, appreciating the great outdoors and nature. We all get so caught up in the daily grind that it can often be liberating just to take yourself off to the local park, nature trail and other rural spots. Forget about the rigours of life so that you can return with the optimal mood, renewed vigour and vitality. In 1875, Tesla enrolled at the Austrian Polytechnic in Graz on a military frontier scholarship. His work ethic during his first year is admirable. He is said to have never missed a lecture, earned the highest grades possible, passed nearly twice as many exams as possible and started a Serb culture club. The extent of his application at this time was acknowledged by the Dean of the Technical Faculty in a letter to his father, commending him as a star of the first rank. Tesla regularly worked 20-hour days from 3am to 11pm and was shocked when his father made light of his achievements and application at the school. It wasn't until later on, after his father's death in 1879, that Tesla would find letters from his professors to his father, warning that unless he were removed from the school, he would die through overwork. Obviously, Tesla was consumed by his work, and it is clear to me he enjoyed it immensely, and was highly passionate. One simply wouldn't apply themselves in such a voracious manner unless they had real fire in their belly. And moreover, it's useful to realise that you shouldn't necessarily look for acknowledgement and praise from others. The only person that needs to be proud of you is you. Are you being true to yourself? Do you have the best work ethic to make your ambitions a reality? 
It goes without saying that Tesla was fascinated by the discovery of electricity, particularly Michael Faraday's work on electromagnetic induction. Tesla would expand and build upon this with his alternating current system. His early theories on the subject were often met with derision on the part of his teachers, with many casting doubt on their merits and feasibility. At the end of the second year, Tesla lost his scholarship and became addicted to gambling. He would come to lose his allowance and tuition money during his third year, but successfully gambled back his losses. When exam time arrived, he was unprepared and unsuccessfully asked for an extension. He never graduated and didn't receive his final semester grades. Ashamed of his failure, Tesla left Graz in December 1878 and severed all relations with his family, relocating to Maribor and working as a draftsman and gambling in his spare time. His father found him and begged him to return home, but he refused and eventually suffered a nervous breakdown. Over the next few years, Tesla worked a range of jobs, including teaching students at his former school. His father died in 1879 at the age of 60. We can learn a great deal from Tesla's experiences here. Addictions of any kind can be destructive when taken to the extreme, jeopardizing and at worst obliterating a promising career. Tesla misdirected his enthusiasm and it cost him a substantial amount financially and emotionally. Following a position at a telephone company in Budapest in 1881, where he was employed as chief electrician, Tesla would subsequently find employment in Paris at the Continental Edison Company designing and making changes to electrical equipment. Ultimately, he would make the journey to America in 1884 at the age of 28. He identified his hero, Thomas Edison, as a key individual that could help him with his alternating current ideas and perhaps make them a reality. However, Edison had built his business on direct current techniques and was dismissive of Tesla's theories. Tesla was hired by Edison to work at Edison Machine Works on Manhattan's Lower East Side, beginning with simple electrical engineering jobs and then advancing to more complex tasks. He was offered the job of completely overhauling Edison's direct current generators, with Tesla suggesting he could make them both more efficient and reliable, to which Edison remarked that there would be $50,000 in it for him if he could do it. Following months of work, Tesla accomplished the task and inquired about his payment, to which Edison responded, Tesla, you don't understand our American humor. Edison offered Tesla $10 a week extra on top of his $18 a week salary, which Tesla refused and then immediately resigned. This period of Tesla's life illustrates the importance of being diligent and learning from your mistakes. In life, there will be many individuals and entities seeking to exploit you and blatantly steal your intellectual property, assets, and other things that you work hard for. It's vital that you learn to insulate yourself from these parasites. In Tesla's case, there was surely an element of hero worship towards Edison, which is understandable, but what do they say about meeting your heroes? He probably just wanted to impress him and be a successful mentee of sorts. Therefore, it's incredibly important to choose your mentors wisely. See my video on the topic. You need to educate yourself on the power dynamics and harsh realities of the big wide world. And there are several books on this by Robert Greene that can provide great detail. And I'll include some in the description. If you have a revolutionary idea or concept, patent it and make it your own instead of allowing your creation to be usurped from you. At the very least, get a non-disclosure agreement. It happened to Tesla in this case. It also happened to Siegel and Schuster, the creators of Superman, when they had their work stolen from them. Don't let this happen to you. Cherish and protect your creations. Upon leaving Edison's company, Tesla was partnered with two businessmen who agreed to finance a company in his name called Tesla Electric Light and Manufacturing, the fruits of which were the first patents issued to Tesla in the US, 22 within a period of five years. Against this backdrop, he continued to pursue and build towards his novel, alternating current motor. However, his investors were not very concerned about new types of motors and electrical transmission equipment. They would eventually force Tesla out of the company, leaving him penniless and usurping his patents as he had given them up in lieu of stock. He was reduced to working a range of electrical repair jobs and ditch digging for $2 a day, an experience that would haunt him in later years, given his level of education at the time. The world can be a harsh and unforgiving place, especially when you put your faith in other people without observing due diligence and discretion. Oftentimes you'll be extremely disappointed and suffer dire consequences from such mistakes. This phase of Tesla's life is depressing and outright sickening, but the world doesn't know you are living, you have to go out and fight for it. This hardship would no doubt have fueled Tesla further, despite the mental scars, and he importantly kept his pride intact. The industrialist George Westinghouse was one of the few men genuinely interested in Tesla's work and offered to buy all of his patents linked to the AC system for $1 million. 
This was the beginning of Tesla's journey towards fortune and fame, drawing broad admiration as well as envy. The War of the Currents would begin when Edison attacked the work of Tesla and Westinghouse in the late 1880s and early 1890s, calling it dangerous. In 1893, Tesla gained the opportunity to demonstrate his invention to the public at the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago. It was referred to as the most incredible display of lighting the world had ever seen. Tesla won the War of the Currents, and one might say he got his revenge on Edison. But Tesla moved on rapidly to his next projects and ideas, reinvesting most of his money into these ventures with varying degrees of success. His later work would include the Tesla coil, the development of early X-ray imaging techniques, the conception of radio technology, of which he wouldn't receive credit until 50 or so years later. He often aimed too high and failed, a modern Prometheus. But this is a great mindset to have. If you aim too low, it's extremely likely that you will underachieve, a far worse crime in fact. In his private life, Tesla was a notable and intriguing bachelor for his entire lifetime. He himself stated that he did not think he could name many great inventions that had been made by married men. He was nevertheless attracted to women, and they were to him. He was always more concerned with his work, though, claiming that he destroyed his sexuality at the age of 40 and appreciated the fact that it probably helped his career. He found all the stimulation he needed in his work and chose to never pursue or engage in romantic relationships. There are many aspects of this philosophy that we can emulate. In his later years, Tesla was regarded as a mad scientist, an individual gradually losing his grip on reality, who would later lose the financial means to realise his ideas, and he depended on the goodwill of friends to survive, such as Westinghouse. It is sad that someone who contributed so much to our modern society, having made billions of dollars for corporations, was not recognised and spent his later years in relative obscurity. It is scandalous in my opinion that he was never awarded a Nobel Prize, and it is unclear whether he refused the award or whether he was simply passed over. He criticised the work of the emerging Albert Einstein, saying that releasing the energy from atoms would be a disaster for mankind, a strangely prophetic observation in light of the impact of the Cold War on 20th century history. Tesla would die in poverty at the age of 86, but he still lives on in his achievements and inventions, indeed in the very fabric of the society we inhabit. That legacy is priceless, and whilst most of us will never reach such lofty heights, we can use his example as inspiration in our own lives. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe on your way out, and I'll see you in the next video.